Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Do you ever get overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that we have and just not want to declutter? Do you ever feel like you don't have enough time, enough energy, enough motivation? Well, hopefully I can help you with that today. We're in my half bath. It is a mess, <laughs> I'm being honest. Didn't clean up before this video but I wanted to tackle a small decluttering job today and share it with you all. And that is seeing how much I can declutter from my bathroom shelves, like drawers, cabinet, my bathroom cabinet. I filmed a video not too long ago on decluttering a hundred items in my office. And I, I ended up getting so much motivation from doing that. I just want to declutter all the things now and I am taking you along for this ride. So if you love decluttering and simplifying and minimizing, then hit that subscribe button and join my family here. I am just motivated and so excited to simplify our lives down to the simplest form possible. Just live more minimally and simple. So let's tackle it let's see how many items we can declutter from this bathroom vanity okay first things first this is a massive vanity cabinet it has three cabinets and three drawers although the middle one is just the sink drawer so it doesn't have anything i'm going to go through all these and see what we can declutter and how much so here is our first drawer Let's go through this. I already see a lot of things that can just go. Okay, so I grabbed myself a bag that I'm gonna drop all the donations into. I have these um, wax melts that have been in this drawer probably for five or six years and I haven't used them. I don't think I'm ever gonna use them. I'm gonna pass them on. It's time for them to leave this house. But they still smell really good. Hmm. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Just the side of you when I'm at my weakest point. Makes a world of difference, so oh, you make me strong. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Ordering a cup of love, feel it rising up and above. You will always keep my heart. Okay, I thought I'd chat with you a little bit while I'm going through this drawer here and let you know a little bit of my thought process for how I'm deciding to part with things. So I have this really cute lantern with seashells. The seashells actually have no meaning to me whatsoever, but I used to use it in the bathroom here for our summer decor. A fence with whether or not I want to keep the beachy theme in the bathroom for the summertime. There is a lot of things in here that I think I am going to start with. So this was Christmas things and they can be easily replaced. I'm not in love with it so I'm going to part with that. So strong your seeds and watch them grow the light will always know where to go okay i'm just going to keep decluttering and put some music on and then chat once i finish you're the first thing in the morning and the last Baby, you're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough 
second drawer and I already filled the entire bag with donations plus I have a bunch of trash um there's a lot of things I just don't want to save anymore and it's amazing how my mindset has shifted from what if I want to keep what if I want to decorate for that to just really being more intentional and simple with even my decor I'm just not about putting a bunch of things out because what I found in years past is I would decorate and then I would get overwhelmed and stressed and just, I wouldn't be my best self. I just would get, like I said, overwhelmed with the amount of clutter and the amount of things. And I to put it away to bring out a bunch of other seasonal decor and just to do that and get caught in that hamster wheel, that cycle of, just more and more and more and commercialism and just everything that comes around with decorating which I still love but I just prefer to decorate more minimal and more simple and just really try to keep like add in a few seasonal pieces but not a bunch if that makes any sense. I think I'm rambling at this point, sitting in my bathroom, which is probably echoey. But now I'm going to uh, tackle these cabinets here and inside is cleaning supplies. I clean with the same cleaning supplies, so I don't know why we have a pile in here. So I am going to get rid of these, probably 99% of them, because we simply just don't use them. There might be a few um, products in there that we use occasionally that I would like to keep like a spot carpet cleaner or a spot cleaner for fabric like sofas um, but other than that I think I use my favorites we all have our favorites we all use and gravitate towards certain cleaning products so I probably don't need half these <laughs> Daisies blooming, sundress swaying in the breeze. I can't stop staring. You've put a spell on me, and I hope that you never decide to set me free. Okay, this is what I'm keeping. I decided that I'm going to keep some of the hardwood cleaners and just use these. I like them just as much. Um, I'll use that before I buy my method, but I won't have like two types at once like I do now. Um, on the fence with this Murphy oil soap, I hardly ever use it. Probably not even good anymore. It's been here for, I don't know how long. Anyway, I will Google it and see if it works. I'm getting rid of this. I'm getting rid of this. And I cannot stand Febreze. I'm getting rid of this CLR and this pledge. So that is the things I'm parting with. Throwing out this brush here and this sponge. I'm gonna put right in there. Okay, moving on. To the last drawer over there. This last drawer has a bunch of randomness and I am noticing it has some cleaning products as well. So obviously I've purchased the things that are my favorite without using the things that I have. Oy. By far the best glass cleaner ever. Um, I don't think I have any other glass cleaner anyway so definitely keeping this. 
And this is my favorite floor cleaner for hardwood and for laminate. It's the Method in Almond, the wood floor cleaner in Almond. Love it. See, I don't know why I have this. Because I buy this. lighting in here but I'm moving on to the last drawer and I think that's the last thing I'm going to tackle for today's video I already feel that I've probably decluttered well more than I anticipated to but it has taken me longer than 15 minutes I really should have set my timer um, but any case I'm gonna do the last drawer and then I'm gonna share with you everything that I am decluttering out of the house for good and it always makes me feel so happy and just this weight is lifted off my shoulder because I know that I am really tackling it and I am simplifying as deep as I can simplify and doing what I can do in this moment. Last drawer. And it's not too bad actually. <laughs> Darling, would you be mine? And I hope you know I will love you for the rest of my life Let's not waste time, we'll take this slow We got miles behind us, but miles to go So let's just break this down Okay, time to put all the trash that I've accumulated into this garbage bag And then we're gonna count through all the donations We'll always be better than Nice bag full of trash. Okay, so I decluttered a lot. Um, really excited to share with you everything, and we're going to count the items together. Some of the things I'm just going to count as one. Some of them, if they're larger, I'm going to count individually, um, even if they're the same item, because they're slightly different. So it is still. I feel like it is still like something going out of the house. Like for example, this bag of seashells, I'm not counting every individual seashell in there, but the whole thing is going. So that will be one. But like these towels, I have three of them. So I'm gonna count them separately. So let's do it. Let's count all these items and see how many I was able to part with from my bathroom. Still a mess in here, keeping it completely real, but I'm not cleaning right now, I'm just decluttering, and uh, I'll definitely clean the bathroom later. <laughs> to have my camera off my tripod right now, I thought I would count the cleaning products that I'm decluttering. So we have one, two, eight cleaning products. So that's nine, and that's 10, and that's just going downstairs. So. 10 things here on the floor. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 5, 5, 6, 47, 48, oh, so close, 49, 
I was so close. It was 49 things. And then I looked over the corner and I saw this. And I asked Madeline if she wanted to keep it because it's her nail kit. And she quoted me, Mom, I honestly forgot I had it. So obviously I don't need it. <sighs> so proud of her. She is really taking off on this decluttering alongside with me and I couldn't be prouder. So if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below to join my family here on YouTube, where I am sharing my simplifying journey with you all as we slowly simplify all of my spaces and simplify our lives down to the simplest form possible by decluttering and minimizing and just parting with things that don't make us happy and things that we don't love. So until tomorrow's video, friends, I hope that you are having a wonderful day or night whenever you happen to be watching this video or staying safe. And as always, take care. We'll see you later. Love y'all. Bye now.